what's up guys i'm gonna be walking you through the amex gold card application and don't forget for a very very limited time you can get 90,000 bonus points you can only get that through a referral link it'll never be on the website plus for a limited time you can also get 200 dollars cash back so let's get right into it okay, so the amex gold card application is very simple very self-explanatory if you've ever applied for a credit card before you're gonna be just fine the one thing that i really do like about amex is that they let you know if you're pre-approved or you can get a pre-approval without it affecting your credit score so if you're not really sure if you're gonna be approved go ahead and do that chase doesn't offer you that i don't think capital one offers offers you that so this is a great great tool so let's go ahead and press apply now um i do have the roll the rose gold card it's all right if you're debating and you really like the gold card the way the classic gold looks i would just choose a classic gold but it's up to you at the end of the day so you're gonna enter your full name obviously your legal name your email address your date of birth all this stuff is super super self-explanatory as far as your total income goes i don't recommend lying or inflating these numbers however some people do put a little bit higher or their projected income especially you know i know this is a personal application but if you are applying as a business you can put your projected income if you are planning on getting a raise if your income normally goes up you know a couple percent but i would be pretty honest with this you can always let them know later in the year or if you do increase your income later um that your income has increased and they will go ahead and increase your credit limit um as far as your credit limit goes we'll just get into that really quickly the, it is technically no set limit but there is a limit that you can have on a card at one time so for example mine is $35,000 I can put more than $35,000 on the card but I have to pay that extra um off in full each month so for example if I charge $36,000 on the card I would have to pay that thousand dollars off plus whatever my minimum balance is for the month so that's how that works but there is a set number that Amex is willing to let you spend I don't think that you would believe that you would just have zero limit so let's keep going um, then you have your income source, all that. I'm going to have to actually fill this out to continue. All right, let me fill this out and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and entered all the information. I ended up using a fake name. We are Amber Williams today. So it'll bring you to this next slide, which gives you the interest information. So I'm just going to talk about the interest for one second. Out of the seven to eight months that I've had the MS Gold Card, I carried a balance one time. I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. I, uh, I carried a balance one month and... The balance was $1,200. I carried it for one month and I paid it off in full the next month along with my, you know, balance for that month. So um, I paid $48 in interest, which was fine. I knew I was going to pay the interest for it because I knew I was carrying a balance. Cool. The next month, Amex then charged me $100 in interest for the balance that I already paid off. So they call it trailing interest. I thought that was ridiculous when I reached out to the customer service in the chat box. They were like, yeah, it's called trailing interest. So you have to pay your balance off in full for two consecutive months in order for that interest to be taken off. I was like, I can justify one month because I knew, right? But I'm like, you guys literally just made that up. Like, this is not a thing where you can just feel like, I mean, I get it. It's a company. It's their rules, blah, 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 blah. But I just feel like, you know, that shouldn't be a thing. I let them know <laughs> and they went ahead and did a courtesy removal of the interest. That $100 I didn't have to pay because I said it was fine because I just feel like, you know, these companies, they're just really greedy and I'm, I'm willing to pay what I borrowed. But other than that, you want me to continue to pay for it when I already paid it back? Like what that's insane so just make sure you're aware of the interest rates make sure you're aware of that trailing in aware of that trailing interest just because you pay your balance off in full one month does not mean the interest is gone it's going to follow you until you do it two consecutive months i will say the lower amount if you are playing on carrying a balance i obviously don't recommend it but you know life happens things happen people happen so if you are carrying a balance the lower your balance amount, the higher your minimum payment's going to be. The higher your balance is, the lower your minimum payment's going to be. So for example, that one month that I carried a balance with $1,200, my interest payment was like $48. Last month, my statement um, balance was $5,000. It was $5,400. My minimum payment was only $54. I paid the whole thing in full, right? But imagine if you are someone who's not as responsible with your finances someone who just has a hard time managing debt and managing money they're only requiring you to pay not even a hundred dollars with a balance of five thousand four hundred dollars i think that's so insane it's really important for you to be and apply for these cards and you know be responsible a lot of people come on here and they talk about how great these cards are and they are really fantastic and i love 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 my ms gold card with all my heart seriously but on the same time but at the same time people are financially irresponsible and not even just financially irresponsible some people have a hard time managing money some people spend because of emotional triggers some people spend because they just have never been taught to manage their finances so just make sure that you're being aware of that trailing interest is something that i just learned about and i would hate for you to be in a situation where you're like stuck 
in that cycle you know so this is just my my warning to you please be careful um and let's continue so yeah that's all the interest all the boring stuff make sure you i mean i know it's really boring but just make sure you read it it tells you about the annual fee you already know that the annual fee is 250 um and then on the side here so it tells you you're getting the 90,000 membership points when you use my link my link will be in the comments and in the description and you're also getting 200 dollars cash back i did not get 200 dollars cash back and that is like amazing you're basically getting the card for 50 dollars. you can look at it that way you can just look at it as you're getting 200 dollars cash back however you want to look at it um i think that's amazing that they're offering this so i've never seen that before so let's continue and then after you're done reading all that information you press agree and submit the application is super super short super super straightforward so now let's get into some things some questions that people have um of whether or not they will be approved first we're going to talk about credit score what does your credit score need to be um there's no really like set answer some people will say you want to make sure you're like around a six well like 80 690 um i personally applied for my first amex card it wasn't the amex gold card it was the amex business sky miles card and i really don't know if that should be counted because i don't even believe they checked my personal credit honestly but i had like a 680 around that time um i had like a six my fico score was a 654 or a 645 when i applied for the amex gold card and i was approved the first time i applied um i know that you can be approved under 700 but I think what Amex is really looking at is your debt to income ratio. It really just depends. But like I said here, you can make sure you're approved, um, you're pre-approved before you accept the approval and won't affect your credit score. Definitely take advantage of that. Use my link in the comments or the description box. Um, I really think that you know it's a case by case thing. If you already have a relationship with Amex, if you already have like a high yield savings account with them, or if you have previous Amex cards, I think your chances of being approved um are a lot higher i will say that some people get amex gold card offers directly from amex and i heard a lot of people saying you know that doesn't always equal your approval or guarantee your approval so just make sure you are taking advantage of the ninety thousand bonus points you can only get that with the referral link okay so i'm really excited for you guys to earn points travel rack up points or whatever you want to do if you decide hey you want to use your points to buy things on amazon that is totally your choice you are well within your right to do so but amex is also having um a uh, deal with klm right now so you can transfer your points to air france and they have flights to paris for like twenty two thousand miles so that's twenty two thousand points i mean that's that's amazing a round trip flight to paris and for a reference it would take me about twenty two thousand flight twenty two thousand miles um through delta to transfer to delta to go to california so i think that's an amazing amazing deal and value so i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to use my link in the comments thanks for watching